In this tutorial, I'm going to give you some good information on how to include files in your website. This is a very powerful technique, I believe, and it allows you to save some time. Basically, what include is for PHP, it allows you to include files from various directories onto a certain web page. And this is very powerful if you're using um, common stylings or common uh, HTML code across several web pages. So before we get started, I'm going to start up Exam. Or actually, I have it already started. You could use WAMP if you want. I am using Exam for this video. And then I'm opening my text editor. And then I created a file within my htdocs or a folder actually called video dedicated for this video and I within that file or within that folder I created an index.php file which is basically your home page of your website so I created a basic skeleton of your HTML document I have a basic title of your uh, of the website so if you notice on your if you open up Chrome or any kind of other web browser on the tab this will display the title so I'm going to open up this web page in my web browser. So to do that, I'm going to type in localhost slash video slash index.php. So as you can see, it's just a blank file, which because I don't have anything on this page yet, but we're going to get to that. Before we get started, I'm going to create another page. Um, I'm just going to create a new file called page.php. And this is I'm just going to use this. Um, page as a way to demonstrate how powerful the include um, function of PHP is really uh, useful. So, for a basic example, I'm just going to create a div for uh, the content that I'm going to be using across several web pages. So, a uh, basic example, uh, I'm going to say hello world, and hopefully this will show on our web browser when we refresh the page. As you can see, it pops, it pops up on the top left corner of the screen. Now let's say I want this uh, Hello World to uh, appear across multiple web pages. Now it doesn't seem that difficult to do because you can just basically copy and paste this content. However, that could get really messy and or really tedious if you're doing it, if you're typing it up again. So let's go to page.php. I'm going to copy this and just reuse this content. Well, before we do that, I want to show you that on page.php, there is actually no content on the page. As you can see, it's a blank page and it has no code on it. So I'm just going to copy and paste what I had here. And hope, and now you're going to see that the hello world is going to pop up on page.php. See, that's fine and dandy, but we don't want to do that. What we want to do is include this div through PHP, it allows our website to be a lot more organized and better um, or more readable for other people who are gonna or who are gonna work with you or, or just for yourself to keep yourself organized. So what we're gonna do within the uh, root directory, we're gonna create a new folder. I like to call it includes. You could name it whatever you want. Includes allows you uh, basically contains all the content that you're going to use across multiple web pages. So I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to say hello world.php. So within this file, I'm going to create, I'm just going to copy and paste. Oh, actually, not. I'm going to just create a div. Sorry about that. A div uh, called hello world. So this is I created I basically took this section of my website or web page and put it in within the hello world.php file within the includes folder. And what I'm going to use is this path and include it on both these web pages. So as you can see, I'm going to take this part out and you're going to see nothing on index.php. Now what we want to do is include it by using PHP. So you just open up your PHP tags, PHP tags, and simply write include, quotation marks, and then we use the path that we're using. So uh, it'll be includes slash hello world 
app.php. Semicolon. And as you can see, uh, this will pop up hello world. As you can see, this is very powerful because you could keep one set of code in one place and then change this dynamically in one place and it'll change across all um, web pages that contain that include. So I'm going to repeat this process for uh, the page.php file. So I'm going to get rid of this and do that. So now I go to page.php, it should be running fine. As you can tell, it says hello world. So this is very good for uh, very large websites. So if you have multiple uh, web pages, you could simply change one file and change every display of a page by changing this one file. So if I want to change the text, say I want to say hello universe instead, I change my mind and say hello universe, I could change it across both web pages. So as you can see, it changes on video uh, slash page.php and it also changes on index.php. So as you can tell, this is very powerful. Um, you could use, This allows you to save time. It, um, the only problem that I can say with this is that if you're using uh, dynamic web pages or websites, uh, if there's something wrong with this main file, this hello um, world.php, then there will be an error on each web page. So that may be an issue for you. However, you could fix the issue in one place and it will work across each web page. So typical things that, uh, that use this include it will be your navbar, your footer, or anything that is common across multiple web pages. I also use it for uh, uh, specific pages themselves because I like to divide the web page into different sections and then include it to a main page. We'll get into that later. And uh, that's basically a tutorial on how to include or how to use the PHP include in a very powerful way. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, leave any comments that you have, any questions. And I'll be glad to help. I'll be glad to help. And I'll see you in a future video. Oh, and don't forget, I have a GitHub account. So you can download all these files in this video on my GitHub. There will be a link in the description.